as you experience in Newport, there are some really awesome things happening. I hope you enjoyed the videos that students are making and we're using to really express themselves. Let's go over to Pullman and see what they're up to. We're over at Pullman Elementary with Kristen Penns, and Kristen's a teacher here, and you're in the midst of a math lesson. Can you tell us a little bit about what the kids are doing? Sure. So I started out in my math lesson by using Infuse Learning, which is a tool that lets the kids, um, lets me push out some questions to them for a quick formative assessment. And then their results um, are submitted to my computer so I can quickly see where the students are, um, what wh whether they grasped the skill or whether they didn't. And then from there, I was able to see the kids that needed to continue to do some work. Um, and I, they're working on the carpet now, working some extra practice problems while I was able to release the rest of the kids to start on their homework at their desk. So as we were watching that lesson, it was very evident by using the technology that you have that you're further able to address the individual needs of kids. Definitely. And that's one of the reasons I really love the technology is because um, I can, you know, I'm not holding kids back who are ready to move forward. And I'm really quickly identifying the kids that need continued help on that. And during that lesson, you used the word thinking a number of times and you talked about how you could see what kids were thinking. How has that impacted kids learning? Oh, it's really important. I think one of the most important things, especially in math, which I'm teaching right now, is not only to be able to do the problem, but be able to explain um, their thinking, know why they're doing what they're doing. And so being able to use the technology, being able to record their thinking, be able to not only show it, um, um, but also for me to then go back and review it and to hear what their thinking was, um, lets me really know how deep their understanding of the concept is. And last but not least, you just uh, did a whole group instruction piece and you sent kids back to work individually, now to work as a small group with you. What does that do as far as enhancing their learning? Well, I think what it does is it gives me um, some time with kids who really need the one-on-one -on -one help. It um, gives some kids some independent work time who are ready to be independent. Um, and it really lets me individualize. So even when the kids are back and they're working on their own, if they move forward, then it allows me to give them some choices about some things that they can do. So that differentiation piece is just um, really important. And most of all, it lets me touch base with my kids kind of one-on-one -on -one to really meet their needs. Um, and I think that's, that's the most important part of teaching. And I think the last piece, just thinking about as you're talking about that, is you could just see the speed at which things happen and the transitions that happen so that things can come to kids much quicker. Have you experienced that? I have. So I flipped my math class. So the kids are actually watching a video um, of me teaching the lesson at home. And then they have a problem that they need to do um, for homework so I can kind of make sure that they're watching the video and that they're practicing that skill. And as much as I'd like to think that me getting up in front and lecturing is, is really exciting to them, um, it's not. But it, what it happens is that when they get to class, I'm really um, able to focus on the application of the skill. Um, whereas before, I was spending a half hour going through the lesson with them, um, them copying notes into their notebooks. And that's not, I don't think, the best use of my time as a teacher. Well, Kristen, thanks for all what you're doing. We don't want to take a lot of your time. We know you've got sure. a small group of kids waiting yeah. here for you. So we're just going to take a watch for a while. And thanks again. Have a Thank good you. Day. Yeah. Okay. Hey, in Ms. at Miss Penn's classroom at Pullman, we're here with who? Jace. Jace, can you kind of hold your iPad up so you can show it to the camera and show people what you're doing? And can you, if you want, you can tell us a little bit about it, too. So what are you making, fractions? Uh, I can't write upside down. Okay, that's it's too right. hard for me. So you're making fractions. You're able to do all the work that you typically are normally do on a piece of paper right there in your iPad? Yep, you and can it, do it on this one or notability. And when you do it, it saves things. Oh, so you've got all your work in one place? Yeah, so like this is my reading focus. My phone. It keeps everything. It like, keeps everything. And one of the things we notice that. And when, if you double tap, you can go like this. And it goes away? Yes, but it doesn't get rid of that. I noticed that when Miss Penns was teaching a math piece that she could go up and see what everybody was doing by just looking at her computer. Is mm -hmm. that pretty cool? I don't really like it. You don't? But Why not? Because she knows what you're doing? Yeah. <laughs> and but you're used to it now? Yeah. And these are getting... Okay. Well, thank you for showing us some, some, some of the stuff you do with your iPad and the learning that you're doing here at Pullman. Mm -hmm. Okay? Thanks, bud. Hey, we are here now with... Emily. Hey, Emily. Emily brought her iPad over, and Emily's going to tell us all the different things that they do on their iPad. We can read on it, and we can do our homework, and we can do our math, and we can write, and you can download stuff. 
And so you really have all the different things that kind of used to be stacked up in your desk all in one place? Mm -hmm. Now, one of the other students that we talked about said that a lot of your homework and your work is here as well. Is it all saved on there? Yes. So you can look at it at any time? Okay. Now, are there times of the day when you don't use this thing? Yeah, because like if we have indoor recess, we don't use it because we're not ready yet. And like we don't use it for music or anything. Have you found it to be a pretty cool thing? Can you imagine school without it? No? Oh, that's pretty interesting. That's interesting because once you get something like that where you can really show yourself all of your thinking, it really helps you to learn. Is that what you're kind of telling mm -hmm. me? Cool. Thank you. Appreciate it. We're here at uh, Pullman with Principal Ed Ross. Uh, Pullman is one of our T3 schools. T3 stands for Transforming Thinking Through Technology. And as most people know, all students at Pullman have iPads. And uh, Mr. Ross, can you tell us a little bit about what that means to your school? Well, we've been fortunate that uh, every child uh, pre-K through fifth grade has had the opportunity to use an iPad this year. Um, it's been great to watch the growth of our students and our teachers uh, from how they're integrating that iPad uh, into the classroom, how it's become a part of their day, and how uh, it's just been an amazing transformation to watch students create and to use the iPad to enhance what they're doing in the classroom. Sometimes we get hung up on using an iPad, and really what an iPad is, is a tool with all kinds of functions. Is that kind of how it's being used at Pullman? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the kids will use it for their um, record keeping, for their planner. They'll use it to create projects. They do a genius hour once a week where they're doing you know, research on things that they're interested in. So it can be used for a variety of things. And one of the classrooms that we visited was very evident that a teacher was using an app as an example where kids were doing their work and she could just look at her screen and see the work that all those kids are doing and how that individualizes learning at school here. Has that been a impactful thing you think for kids in learning? Well definitely I mean it also op gives the kids the opportunity to uh, go at their own pace and the teacher can monitor that a little bit closer. Uh, it lets kids take things home at night and work on them a little bit further and then have the teacher be able to interact while they're at home uh, as well so it's been a huge help with that. So we're halfway into the school year can you imagine now uh where you started the school and where you're at now as far as that use of technology? Well, one of my teachers, I think a couple weeks ago, said it best where I said, how are things going this year? And she said, well, at the beginning of the year, I was a little frazzled. But now, if I were to have these iPads taken away from me, she goes, I don't know what I would do. She goes, I'm excited to look at next year and starting from a spot where I know how these are working in the classroom and I can only you know, move forward with how I'm using them uh, when they use them next year. Well, thanks a lot. We're excited about the things we're seeing here at Pullman. I want to thank you for your leadership at the same time. Yeah, thanks. Thanks for tuning in to It's Elementary. We hope you have a better understanding of what the T3 initiative is in the 833 schools. I hope you really experience the individualization that takes place in learning and the excitement of kids and teachers in transforming their thinking uh, through technology. Thanks for watching. Please tune in to future episodes of It's Elementary. Take care and have a good day.